Okay, gang, let's talk geopolitics. Okay, let's talk geopolitics. I pulled out this map that I've had for over 20 years. Okay, here's a link to doing this is a video on BitChute and Rumble that uh, I, I put out uh, sharing my poster collection, and this was in there, right? And I can't remember if I told the origin of this map, uh, why I ended up buying this map. I think the video, the segment we, that I show this is around the 30 minute mark or something, right? But I bought this map after the invasion of Afghanistan in 2011, 2012 and before the invasion of Iraq, okay, in 2003. So this map is over 20 years old, okay? And the reason I bought it is because um, I wanted to get a better understanding of global geopolitics. Even though I knew a fair bit, I was digging in, right? I, I was, because I could see things going in an extremely dark direction, uh, especially after 9-11 and the Patriot Act. The Patriot Act was a trigger for me that went, okay, this isn't gonna end until uh, people wake up to the reality of who rules over us, right? So before the invasion of Iraq in 2003, I went and bought this map. And I've been online for a long time. And at that time, I started digging into all uh, US military bases, where the United States had military bases. And you got to remember, this was 20 years ago, that wasn't YouTube came around in 2005. I, I was doing this in 2002. Right? So you didn't have video sharing stuff gifts. I can't even remember how having gifts back. Then, right? um, everything was text, you're reading, you're looking at static maps and stuff like this and tables and stuff like this right so i compiled the data of where u.s military bases were and i want to bought this map because i wanted to have a tangible uh, map right something i could stand there and just look at right and i took my list and i put basically i had Somewhere I was able to buy a whole bunch of little American flags on sticks, like toothpicks. Like I don't know where I found this thing. Right? I don't I have no idea where I found it. So just imagine there were like American flags like this, right? With American flag on it, right? So I took these little putty things and like there is an I'm pretty sure there's American military. Let's assume there's a military, U.S. military base there, and I think there is one there, right? And I would take this flag and I would did this to it, Boink. <laughs> right? And I had this map on my wall for a number of years, right? With all these American flags all over it, and I looked at it and I went, "Wow!" And these were American military bases that weren't on mainland USA, right? And it went wow and at the time i think i found 180 military bases u.s military bases right conspiracy map elder god says. <laughs> uh, so i just appreciated what it was and what was going on because i wanted to really follow the news extremely well right so whenever there was a conflict war breaking out i looked where there was an american military base as the saying goes you know how dare iran put their country in the middle of u.s military bases right like literally if you if you look at u.s military bases there's here's iran there's u.s military bases surrounding iran right surrounding iran and remember that at the time u.s was in afghanistan and in Iraq and in Saudi Arabia, right? Right? A no brainer what's going on here, right? No brainer. So that gave me an extremely good visual, and that really led up to me starting to blog about geopolitics in 2005, 2006. Uh, so I had to share the information I was coming across and all the pieces I put together. Okay, that's where this map is from. And that's how I got the idea 
maybe a good idea to do this for us to see what's what, right? Uh, lions, I love maps. That is a very beautiful, it's a nice map. I like it. Uh, see, uh, Plutonic Polaris seems nerdrotic. Would you like to see my map collection? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Kafkafoni, I remember YouTube coming out when I was a freshman in college. Aha, uh -huh, yeah, yeah. And then Google paid five billion dollars or four billion dollars for it. No smartphones, beautiful time. No smartphones, no smartphones. Conspiracy map, baby knife. So does U.S. have have uh, the most territories outside their state, uh, or is it U.K.? No, no, no. U.S. blows away any other country in terms of military bases around the world. No one comes close. I don't think you put all the military bases that every other country has outside of their territories. I don't think. Don't quote me on this, but if you add them all up i don't think they add up to what the united states has right or they're very compatible right joe chicho do you have any experience in uh cartography no but i've worked uh with people uh doing it uh because of geophysics so we would uh, we would have to overlap our data right when we're doing geophysics or whatnot okay gang let's do uh conflict zones okay no brainer i got these guys i don't think these guys are going to show up as dark as i like them so ukraine let's use different colors we're going to use red right we're going to use red as a war zone like active war zone right Katosapien 15 i uh, was just watching a stream about that in relation to the south china sea yeah 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 south china sea so we'll use two two different colors active well multiple different colors active war zone red okay active military activity ukraine no brainer is that coming out okay let's make it darker we're going to do this a twofold let's see i got these stickies as well so i'm going to put these under it okay to make it darker So let's put this under it. Is that better? That's better. Okay. Active war zone, right? No yellow, no yellow. <laughs> we'll put orange for countries that are, uh, like for example, for example, for example, let's, let's, let's decide what we're about to do, right? In Western Europe, Poland, Germany, ministers in Poland and Germany and a couple of other Euro Western European countries have come out and said they're at war with Russia, right? They're at war with Russia. So maybe what we should do is highlight the countries that are at war right now. What do you guys think? Should we, or should we paint those as, should we put orange for countries who are at war should we do orange chicho according to a map i just saw literally half of countries in africa are currently at war no idea how many of those are active war zones like oh here for example congo congo war zone right but it's a war zone and by the way gang as Smetley Butler said, our wars are all wars are bankers' wars, and all wars are resource wars. So I'm adding the resource war part to it. Okay. But many people have said this. Okay. So all wars are bankers' wars, Smetley Butler, and everyone knows resources is the driving force for war. Okay. Wait, what? Germany is officially at war? Uh, not, they haven't put out the official statement saying they're officially at war. But the German, uh, which minister, pretty high level, is Green Party. Green is warmongering psychopath, right? Uh, she came out, I think she was the defense minister, or finance, no, defense minister, I think, uh, came out and said, we're at war with Russia, right? So maybe for those countries who have come out and stated that possibly they're at war with another country 
are actively at war, we should paint those as orange. Should we do orange for them? Let's see if I have an orange. Oh, I do have an orange here. I need an orange, uh, these guys as well. Come on. Let's bring out one of these guys. Orange. So I'm going to put an orange green party, climate terrorists, indeed. Like green, yikes. So I'm gonna put an orange on Germany. Let's see if orange is gonna look any different than red. Here's orange. Oops, come here. Let's put it this way. Does that look any different? Oh yeah, it does, nice, that comes out nice. So Germany has said, one of the ministers anyway, but we know they're at war right foreign minister foreign minister said it and some of some of those are yeah 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 ethiopia i think the war has subsided but with uh where is it Boing. so ethiopia though i think is pretty much a war still right let's put ethiopia at war or war could be cooling down Right. A couple other ones we know, right? Yemen is at war with Saudi Arabia, so we'll put those ones on there. U.S. Denmark is pretty close to that orange. Yeah, yeah, yeah. U.S. is U.S. We're going to put orange. There's no doubt. U.S. is at war with. So we got Yemen. Okay. I'm going to put red on here too. We got Yemen. And we got Saudi Arabia. Okay. Myanmar, yeah. Myanmar, is it at war or is it occupied? Is it is it at war? Who's Myanmar at war with? Okay, Saudi Arabia is at war. Uh, orange, orange. So uh, Poland, Poland most definitely, right? Oh, civil war. Hmm. Should we do a different color with civil? Poland. There was a couple of other Western European countries that said the same thing. It's a civil war, uh, isn't it? If it's a civil war, let's color it something else. What should we color it if it's a civil war? Yellow? Eldogan, yellow? I'm not Danish, no. We're just talking to someone else. It's a civil war. Actually, French helped them out of it. Yeah, France as well. I think France should be orange as well. No doubt. Most of the... I mean, Latvia, all these countries here. For sure, Lithuania, Latvia, and Estonia, they're yellow. They're orange. There's no doubt about that right pretty sure if i'm wrong on any of these please let us know okay uh civil war let's do yellow for civil war you guys okay with that civil war yellow let's see how it comes out is ethiopia civil war that's a good question uh, yeah let's change ethiopia it's a civil war let's change it yeah i agree let's change ethiopia Let's call the Civil War. Ethiopia, go, Ethiopia goes down. It's it's really a proxy war, right? It really is a proxy war. But let's call the Civil War. How's that yellow coming along? Not bad. Should we change the color to, is the yellow okay? Is that dark enough? Civil wars are different. See, here's the kicker. The West is defining Syria as a civil war, but it's not a civil war. It's a war, right? There's no doubt Syria is full-blown war. You can call it a proxy war, but it's pre precursor 
to oops, hey, precursor to Ukraine. Exactly what they did in Ukraine. But Ukraine is maybe an order of magnitude more, right? No peace treaty, Joe. No peace treaty was ever signed by North Korea and South Korea. So they are still technically they are still technically at war. Um, but should we put orange in there instead of hot war? Because they're not firing at each other, right? They're not firing at each other. Or should we call it a civil war because they're both Koreans? What do you guys want to do with Korea? Uh, wait, sorry. What is the orange color? The orange color is countries that are at war. So if that's the case, Russia, it's not the war... Well, you could say the war is on its territory now because it it acquired. But Russia still hasn't declared war on Ukraine yet. Right? 2011 uh, Egyptian Revolution. That's... Uh, that was uh, CIA... Uh, uh, it's more than that. I don't want to categorize it that, but that was orange. That was the Arab Revolution, right? Arab Awakening. Yellow is good. Yellow is civil war. Yellow is civil war. I think good. Peace. Which countries aren't at war? Let's make those blue or green. Let's make them green. Which countries aren't at war? What countries aren't? Iceland. Iceland is not at war. Let's do green. Iceland. Iceland, as far as I know, is not at war. Iceland. Iceland. Green. Iceland. Green. Yay, orange. Ye orange. Involving who? Definitely civil war. Da, 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 da. Syria is a mix of international intervention sparking civil war and further military inter yeah it's it maybe at a point it might have been a civil war but it it it's it's a full-blown uh, proxy war just like Ukraine the revolution is necessary war uh, quote Nagushka what do you want to do with South Korea Sorry, I can't answer <laughs> that due to the terms of service. <laughs> Hilarious. Revolution is another key. Revolution. Somalia civil war, yeah. Somalia civil war? Okay, let's call it a civil war. Let's call it a civil war. Somalia civil war. So what's uh, what we would call uh, Myanmar? What are we going to call it? Hey, how come there's two of these guys? Orange at war, but not official at war. Yeah, orange at war, but not officially at war. Uh, red is war. Red is war. Orange is they're sending weapons like for example germany in one year went from sending helmets to ukraine to sending tanks to ukraine and talking about sending fighters to ukraine germany unofficially is a war with russia whoa shite switzerland switzerland orange if it was russia is a war i would say Russia is at war. Yeah, but I'm going to put this on here. Should we put Russia red? Should we change Russia to red? Do you have a color for countries supporting wars like proxies? Yeah, we're using those for orange. So, for example, Congo, war here. But what other uh, countries are involved in this war? I think we, we would put orange all around there. No? Yeah, so Canada, Canada is a war or basically involved in it. It could easily kick into a hot war for Canada. U.S., we're going to do red because 
it should be obvious at this point that then we're gonna we're gonna have to change Russia. We're changing Russia too. Russia is at war. Indeed. Let's do that as well. Or we do both Russia red and US red. What do you guys say? I think both Russia and US should be red. Because they're the main players in this. And US is at war in multiple places, right? So. I mean, shit, they're shooting down balloons in the US, right? Orange is indirect, uh, indirect war, proxy war, partly directed economic war, military, yeah. Uh, the Emerald Island. Where's the Emerald Islands? I don't know where that is. <laughs> awesome lines. <laughs> I'd go there. Do they have high speed internet? Yeah, this is a better answer than mine. What is it? Orange is uh, in drift war, in drift war, civil war, civil. I must say that is a very nice map. I'll say thank you, Vandachi. Myanmar was started by coup. Okay, so Myanmar is civil war, so yellow. Yellow. Okay. Oops. Afghanistan? Afghanistan now a civil war. Agreed? Hmm. There is no war so far on Russian territory, but Russia is war party with direct military, not only indirect. So another color again. Uh, here's the thing with plutonic polaris. These Donbass Crimea, this region and the other three provinces are now Russian territory according to the Russian constitution. So land-wise, it is at war, you could say. Yeah, Elder God, but they are being attacked. Ukraine is attacking Russian territory. So I think it's legit to say Russia is at war. Uh, agreed? Caspian. Oh, okay. So Russia is directly at war in Ukraine. I see. Yeah. But then is Canada and U.S. orange too? See, here's the thing with U.S. According to mainstream news, corporate propaganda, U.S. is not directly at war with Russia, but we know they are. The coup from 2014, even pre that, to funding, training to Biden, to Hunter, to uh, all of them. So. I think if we're going to do put Russia red, we would have to put US red. If we're going to put United States orange, then Russia needs to be orange as well. It's up to you guys. I feel Russia is red, but I don't know. A defensive war is still a war. A defensive war is still a war. Who wants to send soldiers? Not I. Most of the European Union. Yeah, most of the European Union. So what are the other countries that are so gung-ho to wage war with uh, with the United... Oh, England. Help. England. Doink. By all accounts, England should also be red, but they're not the main instigator, I guess. Uh, who else in... Uh, Europe. There's a couple other countries that said it. Availability. Red should only be used for countries officially at war. Russia isn't officially at war because it can't legally call up its entire reserve force. What do you guys think? What do you guys think? Availability is putting up a question for us. In Ukraine, U US is deep orange. In other conflicts, red. Okay, so should we convert both Russia and U.S. to orange? There's nothing wrong with war being in UK. Cactospian. If Russia wanted to uh, 
to it could it's war if russia wanted to it could be war yeah baby nice i love how us participates and meddles in 90 percent of conflicts around the globe uk is ignored they already sent all their military equipment to ukraine ireland isn't officially at war and neither is any party but the dissident new ira claim they're at war with the uk even though they've they've never taken any action political around. okay so they're just blabbing so we i don't feel comfortable putting ireland as yellow because i don't think it's 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 there not on this level but lions you live there if you want rock rider i hear this the first time they want they won't they won't because then it would escalate it okay should we change russia to orange and us to orange if that's the case i disagree if russia were at war ukraine would be gone by now i agree okay done deal let's switch it up Boink. that's the other good point if russia was at war i think it's going to happen this year to tell you the truth so we're going to change russia to orange and that means we have to change us to orange we're gonna to have to change us to orange Mexico is in a civil Mexico is northern Mexico is uh, I would say in a civil war is it a civil war cartel war oh no it's not an orange I want I want yellow more fairly I don't understand that thing ba, 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 ba. Ooh, am I missing some stuff shoot Let's go. Uh, a, a limited war up to now a limited war up to now it's not a direct offensive i would argue the russia is at open war with ukraine lion says i here's the thing with regarding russia and ukraine if russia went all out like they haven't even brought out the heavy guns yet like really so northern mexico civil war i would say and i would say lower mexico civil war still ah, i know there's serious issues with the government and oaxaca and stuff i go with the info war as red also so you say also red for russia we can change it later on russia are like um ivan drago in round one of creed fight wait till they start punching for real yeah but the places where the war is could have a black flag uh, too yeah i don't have any black colors though <laughs> russia is at war but not at their own territory because it's not their own saying your car i now is now mine doesn't make it mine rocket rider says Kaf met fika sweden is orange i think because we are aiding ukraine yeah sweden orange i agree Doink. oh yeah i gotta add i gotta add lithuanian stuff too so we got three here as well and romania and romania so we're going to need a lot of orange so i'm going to cut up some oranges here western western europe is basically all of them or so estonia what about finland i would say finland as well so colors just got here viper says so orange is supporting war okay red is where war is happening okay yellow is civil war okay so far we got one green in iceland it's, it's not at war <laughs> okay 
So in Western Europe, we're basically going to be putting an orange on all the countries that have sent military hardware or adding uh, or training Ukrainian troops on their territory, which includes Czech Republic as well. Uh, Slovakia, Serbia, civil war, Serbia, uh, Macedonia and stuff. Let's go. Uh, where's para 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 para? Where's Romania? There's Romania. Almost lost Romania. Okay, let's put orange. 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 Then the one of the stupid Croatian, uh, not that Croatians are stupid, but one of the stupid MP in Croatia said they were also at war with Russia. We could have a blah 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 Sweden. Da, 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 da. Hello, hello, Russian badger. How are you doing? Oh, but as the east eastern regions are now Russian territory. It is direct war on Russia. See, here's the thing. We're going between Russia being red and orange. So here, let's do this. Let's put both red and orange in Russia. We'll decide. So there's a little bit of debate going on there. Lies. There's still bomb threats here and there up north, but never anything serious. The most serious thing uh, they've done is planted a bomb in Waterloo Station in London. Wow, two years ago. And all it did was produce a puff of smoke like a bad machine gun. Idiots can't even make a proper bomb like their forefathers. Yeah, ah, thank God. Nice, thank you very much, baby knights. Yellow civil war, red current war, orange country that indirectly participating in a war. Nice way of putting it in a gang. Do not forget free Assange, free Assange, free Assange. Julian Assange is a publisher and journalist that has been crucified for trying to bring transparency and accountability of capitalist power to humanity. Something that we desperately, desperately need in our societies. Right? For more information, see wikileaks.org, defend.wikileaks.org, or our Julian Assange and Wikileaks playlist on Censor 2. And 100% Australia is an orange, right? Australia is an orange. Where Julian Assange is from, right? Because they're directly uh, involved in the Ukraine. A little bit. Oh, Solomon Islands. Solomon Islands. Civil war? Or what should we do, Solomon Islands? What should we do, Solomon Islands? Oh, yeah. Ch -ch -ch. What about hot zones? Like, for example, oh yeah, we're gonna do this. So let's do civil war for Korea's. Israel and Palestine, yeah, yeah, yeah. They're at war. Israel and Palestine is war. Right. And there's Israel. We need to add two, two there. Yeah, Mexico, we added uh, yellow civil war. Okay, but the US has a huge part to play in it, right? Fast and furious. Should we? Oh, yeah, we forgot Armenia, Azerbaijan, Turkey. That's a war. Availability. Let me put these guys up. I want to read availability's comment. Uh, Azerbaijan and Armenia and Turkey is a war. Turkey is a war with multiple nations. Uh, definitely a war with the Kurds. They haven't signed a peace treaty with Syria yet, even though they pulled back. I think Turkey is a war. Let's ask these guys. Okay. Uh, 
availability. Chicho, did you see how the Russians and Ukrainians had a draft treaty of 17 nego negotiations for a peace treaty? Suddenly, that gets in interrupted when Bo yeah, 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 Boris Johnson is this. Now that the collective West has admitted it never intended to work for peace with Russia, Russia, and that is uh, that it was uh, to buy time for the potential destruction of Russia. Putin. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like NATO wants to destroy Russia. They want Russia. Nagushka, in Mexico, cartels work with the government. That's why the mask mandates happen there. Ah. Thank you very much for the follow, Emmy. Salute. Honk, honk. Oh, God, Ireland is at war, war with immigrants. Sal, don't come here. I got my food here. I got some nuts here, too. Almonds. Look at Sal. He's checking stuff out. <laughs> I'm going to have to put this guy here. Come here. You want to see people? Here's Sal. He just woke up. You're a good cat. You are. You are. Look at him, he's just checking everything out. Say hi to people, look. There you are, look. You see yourself? There we go. Ooh. Yeah, go on. <laughs> hmm? Oh, 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 be careful, be careful. I got lights set up here. Go on, go on. Let's see. I'm just gonna get caught up. Skated. Iskadola. Thank you very much for the follow. What's the Don argument in Ireland? Spain, Portugal, Green. Spain, Spain said they're not gonna send the tanks, right? Is that true? Because initially they were going to send the tanks. Portugal green? Is that what we're doing? Where's my green? There it is. Are we doing Portugal and Spain green? I'm okay with doing green to them. Uh, but if Spain has sent military, I don't think Portugal has. Are we doing green for Spain and Portugal? Sorry if I'm behind the chat game. I had to take care of Sal getting into our business. Oh yeah, Libya. Spy, how are you doing? Welcome to our last stream. Libya, civil war. Oops, was that a green? Light? No. Yellow. Mali too, I believe. Australia sent military harbor. Okay, good. So, what that makes Belarus? Oh, Belarus orange for sure. 100% Belarus. Good point. Yeah. Belarus. Too bad that no didn't Western Europe didn't abide by the Minsk agreement. Right. If we're not careful, all of that is going to be red this year. Right? They offered to help Russia in the way they can. Uh, so much more so much red. like we're hair trigger away from all of this turning red keep that in mind keep that in mind uh, once you start mapping out the actual conflicts you really start to realize how close we're to a big scale conflict if things don't uh, de-escalate yeah availability huge lions what about uh peacekeeping chico ireland ireland's main military routines are sending divisions to Lebanon and the Congo to keep the conflict 
somewhat contained actually a couple of months ago the first irish soldier to die in 30 years died in lebanon uh, from a hezbollah attack really i my recommendation to any european countries that have any military in africa get the fuck out right any country that has any soldiers in anybody else's country should get the fuck out that's my take right africa doesn't need any european country it's like france fucking france sorry gang french love you guys but talk about imperialism they sat there a few years ago they installed their own puppet in mali because france considers mali to be theirs right to be theirs right their excuse was oh we're sending troops there to keep the peace right that's that's been the excuse of western or european nations for we we'll call the civil war in mali that's been the excuse of european nations for decades upon decades and going into the centuries that we're sending soldiers there to keep the peace really and that's what's going on so lebanon we need to add one more here lebanon's a civil war uh, so we're gonna add orange for lebanon okay because lebanon is a civil war right now that's the way i look at it uh, unless you guys want to change it and make it a hot war so i don't know we're gonna just add it there conflict zone right uh baby nashisha yeah in my country croatia our president is on russia's side and our prime minister is on ukraine's side it's a chaos between the two is it so what should we put croatia as right what should we put croatia as or should we leave it alone right now Availability Chicho. Uh make sure when you're done with the map you take an HD photo and put it in our Gilda server. Maybe pin it in the World War Three folder or maybe we should have a conflict forum specifically for World Conflict. Okay, I will. I'll take a picture. Uh Iran. What are we gonna do with Iran? Iran is orange, right? Very close to going hot. Right? Iran is orange. Uh, remind me again availability to do that. Okay. Afghanistan is now basically full on civil war. Or we could say civil war. Okay. So Iran orange. Afghanistan civil war. I wouldn't say Pakistan is a civil war. Not yet. I would have put Pakistan. Actually, Pakistan is hot with India. Right? So what should we do with India and Pakistan? Oh, I forgot Korea's. Korea's were doing civil. It's a cold civil. Sri Lanka. Uh, is it calm now? Uh, Sri Lanka had an economic meltdown. It, I wouldn't call this a war, civil war. It has an economic meltdown availability. I think it could just go in international uh, conflict. Probably don't uh, need a word uh, conflict folder. Yeah, I think so. I think geopolitics, World War Three for sure. Rock Rider, Russia, Orange, because of which reason? They're fighting or in Orange when it's not on their own property possibly here's the thing with russia the eastern ukraine and crimea western world doesn't recognize it as russia mm. a lot of people are neutral a lot of countries are neutral there are some countries who recognize it as russian i forget which ones not too many right so if that's the case then russia is not if we're looking at it from that lens russia is not fighting its own on its own land right according to russia they're russian so it's russian territory so right now we got it as red and orange 
Right. Because it's either uh, yeah, it's basically what we have, what we do with the United States that's going to decide what color the U.S. Uh, the um, Russia should be. So, really, U.S. should also be orange and red. Would that? Would you guys agree? Oh, Taiwan, Taiwan, Taiwan. What are we doing with Taiwan? China? Are we saying Taiwan Civil War? Or Orange? Orange is direct, so sanctions included. Equals Japan, yeah, Japan for sure. Japan, Orange. No, no doubt Japan is Orange. Switzerland, Orange, okay. Japan, Orange. Where are you, Japan? Japan Orange, Switzerland. Dumbasses. Switzerland. What about Austria? What about Austria? used up all the oranges from this thing good thing I got more we need more orange um, in North and South Korea we're gonna decide on North and South Korea again a little bit of red is full mobilization and complete and all-out war so Russia would be orange then right sure <laughs> <laughs> kitty cat oh i must be way behind chat because i'm not the kitty cats this is actually a great exercise for elementary school grades five and up sorry right on how you feeling brother without the grown-up talk right uh venezuela civil war civil war agreed brazil civil war or very very close to it what are we going to call brazil civil because it's pretty hot this is one of the first times i would be looking at the map and going colombia seems pretty quiet relative to the rest of the world right a little bit of, yeah but they won't teach this in school no I'm in landscape mode so I can zoom. Nice. Spain should stay out like in World War II, yeah. Well, they cut a deal uh, right at the end. Rock, right? What? Uh, I think availability had it the right way. It's full mobilization would be full on war. Uh, so Russia hasn't full, hasn't gone into full mobilization mode yet. 4D mode stream. Russia at full scale war is mobilized as an entire reserve force. It's only partially mobilized. Yeah, I tend to agree with availability, right? Joe Chicho, what about the border clashes between Chinese and India troops? And what about Taiwan? Hmm. Taiwan, yeah, we forgot to put uh, Taiwan. What? See, here's the thing should we say Taiwan China civil war? Or are we orange yet with the US getting involved? Should we call it civil war? China is at least civil war. China is at least civil war. Sal, what are you doing? Okay, I'm gonna give you some. Here, let's do Taiwan and China, civil war. Okay. Because Taiwan is building up, right? Hopefully that never goes hot. That goes hot, the whole map turns red. Or huge chunks of the map turn red. Right. After this sticky I put up, I'm gonna go give Sal some liver, cause he just woke up, he wants some liver. You guys decide what we're gonna do with the rest of it. Uh, I'm gonna scroll down 
go all the way down to the bottom okay oh baby nice okay baby nice i'm gonna allow this for some reason it zapped it but okay i'm all the way down to the bottom i wouldn't read baby nice uh chicho as soon as our prime minister offers Zelensky to train his soldiers in our country and send them supplies that motherfucker put a target on our back and directly involved us into the war so you could put orange on Croatia as well I think so too I think orange uh, Croatia I'll come back and put orange on Croatia let me go give Sal some liver because he's just sitting here going where's my liver look at this kitty cat nice kitty cat yeah I know I know come on let's go yeah Let's do. <laughs> Sal liver. <laughs> he's a beast. <laughs> Sal eats his liver with some <laughs> flava beans and <laughs> nice chian chianti. <laughs> Hilarious. Okay, orange, orange. Croatia, you're orange. Italy too. Italy's orange as well. <laughs> Kebab Chicho, I received the comics in the mail. Nice. Awesome kebabs. I'm glad they got there good. Fantastic. Fantastic. I think everyone's got theirs. Except uh Padre Padre Padre, what are you? <laughs> Uh, Cyprus? What about Cyprus? Turkey's still occupying it. What about Cyprus? But you think NATO wants to get into fight Russia? For what reason? The included states are help a, a land that has been attacked. Uh, here's, a, here's the thing, Rock Rider. Uh, NATO didn't plan on getting into a direct war with Russia. They were hoping that the proxy war that they instigated in Ukraine was going to be was going to be enough to destroy Russia's economy and have regime change in Russia so they could go they could take back Russia back to the time where it was under Boris Yeltsin in the 1990s where people had to sell their underwear in the streets thank you very much for the sub uh, Gojira Gojira that's like uh, the French metal band Gorija Gorija Godzilla is basically friend, right? So they were trying to take over Russia. Why? Why did the U.S. corporations, Wall Street, the bankers, the neocons want Russia? Resources. Resources. Right? Resources. And 
once they had that, they could strangle China. Right? Did you hear about the cyber criminal who got away? Uh, they were asked, in Italy? In Italy? Yeah. What's up, Mia? Uh, Portugal will send tanks to Ukraine until the end of March. Spain is planning to do the same thing. Okay. They're off green. They're involved. Yeah, I can't see Portugal and Spain not being involved. Uh, they will do exactly what they have. They are told to do by the EU because no EU country is an independent country. The only one is uh, hung, uh, uh, Hungary so far, right? So por Portugal and Spain should be orange as well because they will do whatever the EU tells them to do, right? And in proxy, uh, what the US tells them to do, right? I have to say, this map is getting extremely depressing. It is what it is, right? Doop. Spain. Portugal. I agree. Portugal, not as directly, but if they're sending tanks, that's it. Dictator of love. That's a great dictator. You're dictating love to everyone. Portugal. What else we got? Africa. We gotta hit up Africa. Civil war in Sudan. Civil war in Sudan. Yeah, yeah, Mongolia. You're right on. We got another, another, another green. Let's put green in Mongolia. Who knew? After decades upon, how long did the Mongolian Empire last? <laughs> Just destroying Europe. Like in a harsh way. Mongolia. Green. Green. Mongolia is green. We can't see the green as well. Should we make the green blue so we can see it better? Let's see if blue is going to come out better. Should we make green blue so it comes out better? Come here. Yeah, let's make green blue. Blue is peaceful too. We need a blue. Oh, I got blue here. Nice. I got blue here too. So we need two blues. Kazakhstan was a civil war uh, until Russia stepped in. Or it was, let's say, a proxy war. It wasn't really a civil war. It was a proxy war. Let's take down Iceland. Greenland, too. But Greenland's Denmark. So Greenland should be orange as well, I guess. But we'll leave that alone. That's better. At least the blue stands out. We need some peace places. Uh, what would happen if NATO beat Russia and the U.S. is now the only real boot player in the world? There is no more opposing sides. Uh, is that even possible? No, I don't think it's possible, baby knights. We had that in the 90s. U.S. was the only, uh, it was a global hegemon, right? And it fucked over the world. And one of the reasons Russia is as powerful as it, as it is is because of what happened in the 1990s in Russia, right? And NATO will not beat Russia. It, all of these countries, United States, Western countries, New Zealand too, the New Zealand sent tanks or any military stuff to Ukraine, all these countries cannot beat Russia. Why? Russia has the largest number of nuclear weapons in the world. They have the most powerful nuclear weapon in the world. If Russia gets even close to thinking that they are going to be conquered the world will burn okay i hope people understand that that's what the whole deterrence was about yeah. actually never mind i forgot about china and others yeah 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 leave mongolia alone i've invested much in their commodities nice 
No. I thought that was my cat. You know, got a yak business going. Switzerland is a bit sleazy and has Davos, but it is uh, relatively neutral. No, Switzerland is uh, Switzerland is deep in, right? I have Swedish friends and stuff like this. And, um, you know, there's a whole uh, undertone to it where they say, oh, we're not involved in wars. We just make weapons and give it to people and we finance wars. So Switzerland makes weapons, right? So they ship out like little country Switzerland and major banking center, right? Availability. When you put the map up in Gilded, maybe get someone to edit uh, in a map key. Yeah, 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 we could. I put a map key here to be able to do it, but it's too small. <laughs> I mean, here was, uh, yeah, we need, we need something here. We do this. And here's our map key. Might as well write it in now. War. Can you guys even see that? War. No, you can't really see it. Orange is what what would we call orange with one word? Involved in war, that's too big. Uh what would we call it? One word. One more. One word. What would we call orange? Uh, what would we call? I'm scrolling. Oh wow! I'm scrolling all the way down to the bottom. I, I, I saw one Chicho here. Uh, Joe Chicho. What about all of the stands? Kazakhstan, Uzbekistan, Tajikistan, uh, Kyrgyzstan. Um, very close very close to civil wars some of them participating participating sure participating we'll call it uh, da -da 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 -da. participating sounds good participate participate in war support supporting war support 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 two piece I can't remember <laughs> Mad spelling don't support yeah you can't even see that you know what uh yellow civil war let's do civil war for yellow civil the yellow you'll be able to see i think civil war sort of peace green where's my green Oh, we did blue, not green. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, I'm glad we did this. Peace. Peace. Let's see. Uh, uh, Rock Rider, you said Russia should be orange because they are fighting on their own area uh no uh orange because orange is supporting war red is full mobilization war orange in the eyes of the west because they don't consider crimea uh crimea and eastern ukraine to be part of russia it would be red based on russia's perspective because it should be anyway because that's now russian territory and they're waging war on their land Right. So let me read the rest of your comment or read the whole thing. You said Russia should be orange because they are fighting. They are fighting on their own uh, area, but they fought, uh, fought in the north of Ukraine and shooting rockets to Kiev. Uh, but as Ukraine got some Russian tanks, they should be orange because they supported the Ukraine as. Uh, but as Ukraine got some Russian tanks as Ukraine got some Russian tanks they should be orange because they support here's the thing Ukraine should also be orange as well because it is a civil war right it was Western Ukraine that started waging war on Eastern Ukrainians right Western Ukrainians started killing Eastern U Eastern Ukraine Russian speaking Ukrainians so it was a civil war 
that was instigated by the coup, Western crew of Ukraine, right? It just turned into a hot war. So technically speaking, Ukraine should also have a yellow on it because it is also a civil war because the Russian speaking Ukrainians are I should flip no it should be like that are Ukrainian right they're Ukrainian so Western Ukrainians were killing Russian speaking Ukrainians and Russia stepped in for eight years they were trying to tell the West stop killing Russian speaking Ukrainians because we will defend Russian statement right we will defend Russian Russian speaking peoples anywhere right Lions Chicho actually I just remember Dublin Airport is occasionally used by the US Air Force as a stopover for bringing surveillance and infrastructure aircraft to Ukraine such as tankers and uh, is that technically participate um, has Ireland send any military gear to Ukraine Lions if they have I think they should be orange it uh, you, uh, Ireland was a stopover for the black uh, black sites as well remember uh, for Afghanistan and Iraq Ireland and the Irish got pissed and they shut that down right for the what do you call it the rendition flights right so Ireland was in the mid 2000s Ireland was huge came onto the news where oh Ireland was one of the main stopovers for the renditioning of people around the world by the United States to send them to black sent black uh, black centers right and then Ireland shut them down so that's the thing right dictator of love I'm deeply involved in Mongolian affairs the Tugrig is the antipote of stability plus the change from uh, pro China to pro Russian governments every four years it seems like a little buffer puppet state yeah uh, yeah but is it a, is there a civil war there I don't think no one I don't think people are really killing each other there rock right then Russia isn't orange or do you mean uh, in Mali or Syria mm no i don't mean in mali and syria syria is a full-blown war russia supporting it so that's that's a good point russia could be orange based on syria right and iran based on syria right you could say iran is red as well dictator of love was was there last uh, time four months ago and you could feel the tension really i hope mongolia doesn't uh, blow sky high that'd be sad to see Platonic pluris where are we stability change between the current uh, allies russia and china maybe did sal go back to sleep no they're just here checking me out because they're not used to the setup that i have here they're like what's what you doing hi <laughs> it's just circling me that's, that was via availability I think when Ukraine was at war with the Donbass it was civil uh, war but now it's turned into a war now that Russia was involved yeah it's still half a huge chunk of the people were Eastern Ukrainians that were fighting against Western Ukraine right so it is still a fight for Ukraine right oh we forgot about the Koreas we didn't put the Koreas in there this Korea's got to be civil war or yeah I would say civil or should we make Korea's orange gang we got to decide on Korea the who started in Eastern Europe argument goes further back oh, where's Zara's comment I'm just reading Zara's comment where was it Oh, I lost her. I think that was Zara's comment. Shoot, I lost her comment, Zara. Was it Zara? Oh, yeah, it was. 
Zara, the who started it in Eastern Europe argument goes further back than we know, though, she showed. Indeed. However, one thing we do know, one thing we do know, okay, in the last 200 years, 200 years, Western Europe has tried to, or they have invaded Russia twice, okay, Napoleon, right, and Germany, right? So keep that in mind. Russia has reason to not trust Western Europe, okay? So they have invaded Russia twice, okay? Last time, 80 years ago, how many million Russians died? 30 million, 40 million Russians died? That's pretty serious business. Also, we know that in the last 100 years, Western Europe has started two world wars, or this region of Europe, Eastern Europe as well, not including Russia. They've started two world wars, so as far as I'm concerned, something needs to be done about these bankers and oligarchs and royalty who think they can send the world into global conflict, right? Are we going to allow them to start a third one? I say fuck them, right? Dictator of love. The Dalai Lama visits Mongolia and China blocks the coal trade, which leads to their currency to drop by 20% of value. It'd be a good trade. Uh, Chicho, uh, Joe, Chicho, what about Europe micro states that aren't part of the EU or NATO? Uh, Monaco, uh, Monaco, Lechenistan, Malta, Andorra. Mm. It depends. Are they sending weapons? Are they are they doing it? We should Serbia too. We got to put uh, orange in Serbia. I would say Serbia yellow. Uh, would would i consider them to be peaceful no because when europe like a good place to be if you want to avoid war uh i would say no because if this goes they go as well vatican city is one of the fucking biggest funders of war there is right i've been to monaco and vatican city actually He wants more to ever see this. Says, definitely a troublemaker guy. Definitely a troublemaker guy. Elias, Chicho, they they haven't, but they've sent financial aid and have no problem with the U.S. aircraft. Well, we got an Irish guy saying Ireland should be orange. It is part of the EU, and when called, they will join the war. So is Ireland orange? Oops, that's not an orange. Where's my orange? There's my orange. Lions, your call. Boink. They are using it as a military base, so stopover. <laughs> Let's see that my cat's here. Chicho's cat me out cat friends across the globe also we should have a cat live stream <laughs> we leave uh, many states out i would say regularly they have their military protect protector state indeed and if they are bank hubs they have a role in some way too yeah they do dictator for dictator of love they are protesting these days in mongolia obviously not as lethal as in kazakhstan However, in Mongolia, at the Sakhbatar Sak Square, power is concentrated in one kilometer radius. Easy to stage a coup d'etat, really. Well, I hope it doesn't blow. Right? Kazakhstan, I don't think it should be a civil war. What were we doing with Korea's gang? But yeah, power parity, zero sum, okay? You should split orange, add a color shooting rockets and bombing a foreign territory <laughs> rocket writer says or partial mobilization isn't the same thing the same like sending weapons or doing sanctions or the see here's the thing sanctions are war so all those countries that have put sanctions ninth ten sanctions on russia they're waging war on russia so technically speaking all of these should be red all of them right yeah, oh my god, I think we're going overtime. 
with the ge geology, <laughs> with the geology <laughs> for the first little bit. I would say Korea is Cold War, Cold Civil War. Let's call it Civil War then. Okay. We could use green as a Cold Civil War. Uh, but let's just do Civil War. Because it's definitely not peace. It could blow sky high any time. Anything goes on with China, it's done. Right? Let's go yellow. Okay, what else we got here? Malaysia, Indonesia, Philippines, mm. Solomon Islands. What we're we gonna do in Solomon Islands? Yay for extra time! <laughs> nice. Are either NATO or Russia justified in their uh, expansion efforts? Russia is not doing an expansion effort. This is one thing we have. We, uh, I, I would say, Russia stepped in to prevent genocide. There is no other way to look at this. Western Ukraine, after the coup in 2014, they turned to Eastern Ukrainians, okay, and said, no more speaking Russian, no more Russian being taught. It's equivalent. What Ukraine, Eastern Ukraine did, uh, what Western Ukraine did to uh, Eastern Ukraine is equivalent to this. Is Canada, okay, turning to Quebec and saying, no more speaking French, French will not be taught, okay, no more French signs, okay, and amassing Western Canada and the Atlantic, massing their troops along the Quebec border and bombing Montreal and Quebec. Okay, that's what Ukraine did here for eight effing years. Signed two treaties, minced agreements, saying they're not going to do it anymore. They're going to give partial autonomy to Western Ukraine and Crimea. Okay, and they kept on doing it. That's the equivalent. That's the analogy you can use. English speaking Canada telling French-speaking Canada to go fuck itself and start burning French-speaking citizens, French-speaking Canadians alive in buildings because that's exactly what Eastern Ukrainians did in Odessa. They burned Russian-speaking Ukrainians alive in a building. Okay. Do you think France or even the United States, United States would be the best analogy if there was, well, there's, French-speaking Americans here, but if all of the United States was French-speaking, okay, and English-speaking Canada did this to Quebec, would French-speaking United States be justified in going into Quebec, okay, and protecting the French-speaking Canadians from being genocided? Would Quebec be justified in holding a referendum and 90% of Quebec voting to join the United States. Should the world recognize that? Or should the world, Western world, send weapons to English-speaking Canadians to keep on killing French-speaking Canadians? That's really the analogy we have to use. Okay. On that note, gang... I didn't do my intro today, so we're going to hold off on that, but I'm going to do this. So, oh, too bad. This would have been amazing to load on <laughs> YouTube, <laughs> sensor tube, but gang, should we, should we load this whole thing on sensor tube? What do you guys say? Should we load this whole thing to sensor tube? Let's call the stream. Oh my God. <laughs> I don't want to call the stream we're having a good time Russia saved Europe from Nazis free Assange, free Assange, free Assange I'm going to scroll down, let's see where we are 
we decided we could continue this in another stream. We could continue this discussion. We need a close up camera uh, to enjoy your European. I know I need a bigger, like a zoomed up version of this. Is it worth doing the States and the Pacific? Samoa, Fiji, we need to do, we need to do Solomon Islands. We need to put something there. I'm going to put yellow there for now. Okay. Because. <laughs> there. We're going to put it there. Because something's brewing there. Okay. Should we call the stream gang? Should we call the stream? I'm scrolling down. I'm scrolling down. Where are we at? Go to the hour. Where are we at? We got another 20 minutes, Lions. Load it and take the <laughs> load it all. Load it. Okay. So this was me about to say, gang on sensor two, because we're talking about certain things that sensor two will not allow us to talk about. Well, or controversial on sensor two, but I'm being recommended to load this whole thing on sensor two. We're gonna load it all on sensor two. But if this thing's taken down, if you're watching this. Full live stream will be Pachut, Rumble, and Odyssey. So if this is taken down, I'll have to, I'll make cut this out. <laughs> Those of you uncensored too, if you're seeing this short one minute, two minute video intro, know this. We tried loading the full stream on sensor too. It might have been taken down. I don't know if it will or not. Okay, it might give us a red flag. Who knows? Sensor tube is crazy, right? If you're watching this, I've pulled this little segment now to tell you that we just did on February 7th, 2023, we just went through world map and we still got some work to do, mapping out conflict zones and stuff like this and talked a fair bit about different things, okay? And we did a little bit of geology and geophysics uh, at the beginning, okay? But the full live stream will be available on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. Links in the description of this video, okay? Now that we got that segment, let me take this down. Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? <laughs> Vanessa, how are you doing? <laughs> Long time no see. How are you? Hope you're doing well. Uh, Rockers, you think aid is uh, fighting in direct war? Aid is fighting in direct war. Yeah, in large part. The way the West is doing it, sending, emptying, empty, emptying their warehouses of tanks and weapons and stuff sending it to ukraine yeah they're just using ukrainian blood to wage a proxy war on russia what the fuck really what the f right iraq what are we going to call iraq iraq officially is not a war anymore but should we do it at orange I think Iraq is pretty much the same level as Iran right now. More involved, of course. Let's do Iraq as orange. Because something's got to be there. Egypt civil war, is it? Uh, seriously, gang, what about the Congo? We've got to deal with the Congo. We've got to deal with this. Uh, Brazil is very close to a civil war. Very close. Panama, Costa Rica, Honduras. In the, this is the way the world is right now. This seems peaceful relative to that. Wow. Crazy. 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 Okay, where are we at? Where are we at? Uh, okay, I'll look at Elder says, I'm sick of censor too. We need, we deserve to express our ideas indeed. Uh, da, da, da. Okay, I'm going to re read the rest of Rock uh, Rider's comment. Uh, you think aid is uh, fighting direct war, but if you think so, if you help a guy who is punched down by another guy, is the same like, like the fighting of the other guy? Strong opinion. Where are the proofs of uh, genocide? Genocide. Uh, Ukraine, basically, Eastern Ukraine came out 
and told all Russian speaking Ukrainians leave you have to leave if you want to continue to speak Russia Russian is no longer accepted in Ukraine you must leave that's genocide definition of genocide is ethnically cleansing a region of a certain ethnicity that's like literally go to the UN that's the definition of genocide one of the definition of genocide ethnic cleansing is genocide okay strong opinion where to prove that Russia giving free passport uh, to have many Russian people in a different country uh, it's not free passport Crimea has historically been Russian it was just given to Ukraine in 1954 by the USSR so why the F are we accepting that Ukraine Eastern Ukrainians have the right to tell Russian Russians in Crimea that have lived there for centuries that they should leave and not speak Russian or teach Russian in their schools or speak Russian because USSR under Stalin signed away this region to Ukraine that that is the most ridiculous thing you could think of right Generex thank you very much for the follow appreciate it salut Hong Kong I'm scrolling down, I'm scrolling down. Um, where are we? Where are we? Oh my god, this chat is kicking me all over the place. Uh, Joe Chicho, I think the vast majority of African states have civil fighting and ins insurgencies that they're dealing with. So, should they all be orange? No, I don't think they should all be orange. Like Boko Haram in Nigeria, sure, let's call that civil war. We might. might like these are all resource wars right nigeria boko Haram, right now here's the thing uh sierra leone was peaceful in up to the mid 1990s what happened in sierra leone in mid 1990s they found diamonds they found diamonds so i know this because i looked into it back then i was a geophysicist at the time there was a documentary that was created in canada that was fantastic documentary here here's the story of sierra leone why it became a war zone civil war where people like the the dictatorship there the, the puppet regime that was put in they were cutting kids arms off so they wouldn't fight right a mining company in vancouver canada okay discovered diamonds in sierra leone in collaboration with a mining company in london in uk okay together they funded a mercenary organization that was owned by the mining company in the uk okay and they sent the mercenaries to sierra leone and they overthrew the government there and it was peaceful before this they overthrew the government there put a puppet in power and the first thing the puppet did was sign away 100 percent of the mineral rights to the mining company in the UK and Vancouver Canada I know this because I lived in Vancouver Canada I knew mining companies then, right civil war in Sierra Leone hundreds of thousands of people fucked over why because of diamonds why because of Western governments Western powers these people right wanting the resources out of Sierra Leone right that's our history by the way okay. Tigre constructivist am I a constructivist read steer I don't know what constructivist is <laughs> I like construction or what's your uh, in real life uh, theory perspective no they did um, I don't so what's my real life I don't know I'm just a chicho uh, plutonic pluralist in part two we will uh, take all new colors and may look at the third world the countries which are not directly West Russia yeah I think so 
maybe we'll continue this next week uh reed steer the entire south of the country mariupol uh kiev all remain russian speaking don't gun tout misinformation is this me these are the russian speaking yeah but east the Ru ukrainian government after the coup came out and said no russian okay the state is no longer going to support russia it's like canada is a bilingual country right like in canada is english and french it's, it's been bilingual country from basically from the get-go right what would happen if canada came out the government came out and said we are no longer a bilingual country only english will be recognized by the state and only english will be taught in schools quebec would separate from canada and rightfully so and rightfully so right rightfully so right. nagushka copium re uh, releases a lot of uh, euphoria doesn't it uh tell me who your deal <laughs> reading some random stuff random stuff i'm scrolling i'm scrolling i'm scrolling okay i'm all the way down to the bottom uh, oh readster you deleted this score yeah 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 f discord they did censorship we left we went to guild it right gang what should we do should we call it do we miss anything obvious we've missed a lot we've missed a lot right We've missed, like Haiti. Haiti is a civil war, but it's not really a civil war. It's the Western world fucking with Haiti. France and the United States and Canada, right? There's no ifs or buts there. I know the history of Haiti, right? Or as best as I could at a Haitian girlfriend. Okay, so I looked into it. Wow, what a shit show we created in Haiti. And in Canada, in Canada you watch news, oh, we must help Haiti motherfuckers we fucked up haiti okay part two we got to do part two india green india green india uh northern india not green northern india yellow southern india green right india green part two now part two now lion says what wars are, are you uh pinning just saying uh we got ukraine war we got major wars in in here this is like a war zone turkey is a war with syria they might be signing a peace treaty turkey was a war with armenia helping azerbaijan israel was a war basically orange as well supporting azerbaijan to wage war in armenia armenia and the Karabakh. that's going to flare up again right balkans balkan this place could be effing blow this place tomorrow or next year or two years from now could all be red all of it right india pakistan china yeah yeah india will never warmonger ah i don't know elder god the india warmongering will basically be this the balkanization of india uh right but india is pushing its weight around big time right big time ethics policy model. ethiopia has a yellow flag yeah so civil, civil war to a certain degree right the situation in armenia is a byproduct of turkish and russian imperialism the situation in, in armenia is complicated on multiple fronts because they try to do a color revolution in armenia and they put a puppet that was basically trained in the united states in power right because they went oh the armenian leadership was corrupt sure every leadership is corrupt and they put that dumbass in power okay and one of the first things they did they brought brought in woke politics into armenia and they separated themselves from russia and started embracing the united states you tell me you tell me what type of moron what type of morons here will embrace this and demonize this when you're right effing there surrounded by turkey and azerbaijan that want to genocide you you got to be some fucking dumbasses dumbasses okay to go with this instead of keeping the protection you had from russia 
lowest IQ SOBs in the fucking world. I know because I'm Armenian. I know those idiots. Okay. I live in Balklands, real xenomorph says. I live in Balklands. Any suggestions on how to survive? If it blows sky high, leave. If it blows up, leave. You're just another proxy in the war against Russia. Take a look at what's happening in Ukraine. If this blows sky high, it's going to be exactly like Ukraine. Canada, oh my God, this is real. Canada is nice and summer. <laughs> Plutonic for us, rebuild Yugoslavia and get neutral. Yeah, I think we've passed that road. Real xenomorph. I actually have some family in Canada that invited me to come over every year. If it blows sky high, I would. Real xenomorph. We'll all party all chichos on the island. <laughs> Tito Vivalism, Tito Vivalism. Doink. Okay, gang, let's call the stream. Let's call it fantastic, super fun. And we did geology and geophysics. And we've got a lot more to do here. We've got a lot more to do. Maybe we start talking about taking a look at Africa, what's going on here. Civil war, most likely in South America. Uh, coming soonish, right? We see, we see, we see. And we didn't decide on New Zealand. Is, has New Zealand sent weapons to Ukraine? Rock Rider, you really think so? Quebec would try to punch the government and form rebel squads. France would give them passports, occupies New uh, Brunswick, and send rockets to Ottawa. You really think so? Here's the thing. If in Canada, by the way, there's a huge French-speaking population in New Brunswick. Huge. Huge. Right? If Canada came out and said French no longer recognized in Canada, Quebec would have the right to want to separate or want autonomy. If English-speaking Canada started bombing Quebec, said, no, we're coming in with military force, yeah, Quebec should have the right to defend themselves. Quebecois should have the right to pick up guns and defend themselves against psychopaths, right? No doubt, no doubt no doubt no doubt right gang let's call the stream we're into two and a half hours fantastic and we're going to load this onto sensor too we'll see where it goes gang if you want to know what this work is about we'll continue this by the way probably next week okay i'll keep this up and see when we're done with it maybe we start mapping out pipelines right i put out an article by the way i put out put out an article a while ago yeah i'll give you guys the link since we're here right now uh, here's a link that here's an article that I put out when did I put this out I don't even know when 2000 and I don't know when I put this out here let's find it boing if you go to my site if you go to Iran boing uh, ba, 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 target is here I put this baby out in 2013 10 years ago right 10 years ago and I called this thing uh, target is still Iran, clear-cutting the Middle East and the coming bloodbath, mapping World War III. And there's a lot of resources, links, maps, pipelines, and all this jazz in this article. I put a, uh, put a lot of time and effort into this. Uh, boink. Okay. So you can take a look at that. Uh, this, this article is basically what we're doing right now, but it was an article format that I put together in 2013. Okay. Uh, we'll continue this discussion uh, next week, most likely. So, gang, uh, thanks for being here. I hope you enjoyed the stream. It was super fun. I, it was fun to do more, but I think two and a half hours is good. Um, we did a fair bit. And thank you for the participation. Thank you. Thank you for being here. Um, and we wouldn't be able to do this work without your support, gang. For those support we're getting on Patreon, on Substack, as well as on Twitch. It is in large part because of the support we're getting on these two platforms, as well as some of the other platforms that we're able to do what it is that we're doing. So if you do enjoy this work, subscribe, follow, do whatever you need to do, whichever platform you choose. Uh, with your support, we'll continue all this. Uh, it, it's fun. It's good to know what's going on. Uh, and we can learn a lot, right? Open up communications. A lot of the governments in the world are shutting down communication, right? Because war, profits, right? 
we as human beings need to open up the communications right and talk and see what's really going on and on that note we do have a gilded server as well so you can definitely you're definitely welcome to join us on gilded talk about things uh share information debate uh, and see where the conversation takes us hopefully we can learn together gang uh we do announce these live streams 45 minutes half an hour before the live stream on twitter vk minds gap parlor and uh gab uh gab minds parlor ba -ba 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 -ba. what's the other one uh, gilded t -t 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 parlor getter and on getter okay <laughs> thanks all god you're awesome <laughs> so you're definitely uh, welcome to follow us on those platforms uh some of them, sometimes some of those platforms are down uh today the announcement didn't go out on vk uh it was down for my end anyway for live streams, we don't have any visuals. We do upload the audio to soundcloud.com uh, forward slash Chicho as a podcast. And those podcasts should be available on your favorite podcasting platform, including Spotify, iTunes, and Google Play. And again, gang, we're going to try to load this thing up on sensor to its entirety. We'll see what happens. Hopefully nothing. Because we just shared information, gave our opinions. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see where that goes. Uh, but you can always find these full live streams on BitChute, Rumble, and Odyssey. And there's a handful of people supporting this work on sensor tube membership gang thank you very much for the support i hope you're enjoying this content and again you're definitely welcome to join us on gilded uh aside from that mods 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 thank you for being here and having our backs i hope i hope uh it's been worth it for you guys gang uh salute to the mods gang salute to the mods cheers gang and i'll uh keep this map up we'll return to it uh, next week and just talk or take a look at more things that are going on in the world bye everyone